Go ahead. Okay. Hi, my name is Anthony, and this is Justin, and uh, we're here to talk about our final project. So for our final project, we implemented uh, all the sound modules, so all, all the audio modules, and also enhanced wave display. So the first one we're going to talk about is quartz. Uh, for quartz, we actually um, maintain the same note and duration notation that we had from lab work. So we still had six bits of uh, note and six bits of duration. So in order to play multiple uh, notes at the same time, we actually had to, uh, when we were writing our songs, we had to write four different song songs, one for each note being cur currently being played. So in order to support that, we also instantiated four copies of note player inside of music player. And um, with, with all four note players playing simultaneously, we attenuated each one and added singles together to get the chords that we're playing out of uh, music player. So for chords, we implemented chords. Um, we have a dip switch that, that controls it. And when the dip switch is off, we're actually still playing two chords, um, or two, two notes at the same time. But then we turn it on, so we have like the melody and then the bass line. Um, we turn chords on, we have the melody still, and then the bass line with those additional two more notes. So it's a three note chord. I'm going to show you. So we have. The red one and the green one are the first two notes. Right now it's playing without the chords, and then the white one is the one that is is added together. So when we turn on the chords, so now you have the red and the green one are the first two that were there before, and then we have the blue and the, the blue one here, here, and the teal one here, and then the two additional chords. So uh, the next, oh, that's that's okay for so harmonics. Uh, we also implemented harmonics, so we can play this here. Uh, we and uh, we hit this this switch, and then now it's got harmonics. So what we did was you can see the waveforms there. But what we did was we um, we we got the the step size from from the frequency ROM, and we actually multiplied them by two, three, four, and five. So we have um, five total notes that we're combining into one and sending it to. Well, actually, with all the playing at the same time, it's really 20 notes. <laughs> so, yes, this is our harmonics. Next, we also implemented enhanced wave display, which is what you're already seeing. Uh, it's basically just an extension of what we did in Lab 5. Uh, we just made multiple instantiations of wave display top and fed them the music samples from each note. And we also modified, uh, we added our parameters to wave display top so that we can get it to display in the different colors that you're seeing right now. Okay, so we also did dynamics. Um, our dynamics, we use both attack and decay. Uh, we have attack, attack linearly and then it decays exponentially. Um, so I'll show, I'll show this, this same song with the um, dynamics on. So actually, if we can play the first song with the dynamics, you can see that the, the chords um, dur during the bass line are um, they decrease as it goes. Like the green. Yeah, so so green and the blue one. Yeah, it's very abrupt though, you've like got yeah. four settings there. Yeah, we've been, we actually did um, we did a lot of different bit files with different settings for the for the dynamics, but we were running into a lot of Timing, there were timing issues, but we still had two and a half nanoseconds of, of um, slack. Um, and I mean, our main focus was to make it sound as cool as possible. So just to have the little, just like crackling noises, and, and you know, the waves looked fine, and we were under under the timing constraints. But we decided to use the one that worked um, for the presentation. Um, okay, so. Yeah, so we also did multiple voices. Multiple voices is a little bit different than um, just the harmonics. We used, um, we actually instantiated different sign ROMs. So what we did was we got, um, we were using MATLAB to produce the sound that's most like an instrument. And this one we used, to, it's supposed to kind of sound like a piano, but it's more like a piano. Um, but we, we try to make the, the sounds of different, four different instruments. We used uh, violin, we used guitar, electric guitar, and flute. Um, and we made these, these waveforms in MATLAB and then used those points to create a sign-off. And then we used the four different sign-offs for um, playing the different 
So you sort of, in addition to having the harmonics you're doing on the fly, you baked harmonics in. To the yeah, so all of the waveforms already have harmonics in Yeah. And um, we did this because it, it just seemed more efficient to be able to access the sign ROM that's already stored rather than doing a bunch of the computation students who mm -hmm. actually developed a bunch of the different um, uh, harmonics. So we can control the, the different voices during the song when the song is playing. So we can change it throughout the four different um, voices, or we can have a, we have a setting where we can change individual voices. Mm -hmm. So we can uh, go through an example of that. Yeah. The one reason not to do it that way, by the way, although nobody did this, is that you'd like to actually make the different harmonics decay at different rates. It's a higher order oh, yeah. to decay out mm -hmm. faster. Okay. Okay, so. This is kind of the, the guitar sound. Uh, it's still got the dynamic guitar. So they all basically have the same, it's hard to see the waveform because it's getting cut on the top. But they all basically have the same waveform, but I can scroll through it. This is the electric guitar. Um, to do this, we just add a distortion by cutting the, the top half and the, the top quarter and bottom quarter off of the regular guitar. Um, and then we have the violin, which is hard to see here because there's a lot of different harmonics uh, involved. So this is a echo with a maximum delay right now, 500 milliseconds. We can adjust. We can adjust how much delay we have. Well, it's, hard, it's hard to hear with the song. You need like a gunshot or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so yeah, uh, that, those are all the models of 
way to manage. Um, are there any questions that you have for us? Or was the hardest? Actually, as a matter of fact, I think the hardest was the the, the wave display, the extended wave display. Because <laughs> for it, we were having the timing issues the entire time with, without any with with a bunch of slack. Um, so as soon as we implemented this, our the audio sounds sounded terrible and you know, we didn't really know what was going on. We didn't figure it out, so we were just playing around with it, trying to change combinational logic to so see. Putting in the wave display broke audio that was previously mm -hmm. working. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. It sounded it sounded really bad. So we added deep flip flops to try to synchronize some of the signals. Yeah, we did with all of our outputs we just we just flopped it mm -hmm. to to get the flat at the same time. That's probably the most conceptually difficult because it's the most frustrating. Yeah, mm -hmm. Just getting the two to work in conjunction with each other. That's always a challenge. Okay, who did what? So um, I did I did chords and harmonics and um, chords, harmonics, uh, multiple voices, multiple voices and, dynamics. and dynamics. And I worked on echo enhanced wave display, and I also helped to debug um, some of the other ones. Okay. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you.